just out here playing around for a couple minutes in the wind, seeing what the fishing might be like today. And would you look at that? We caught a pike just a couple of casts and looks like we might be doing some, some good fishing today. Let me shoulder this guy. It's just a little guy, but So just a little little take. It's in really good shape. I don't see no damage to him or anything. Yeah, not sure how the uh, saddle approach will work today. It is windy as heck out here. Hopefully I'll get enough to make a little video out of it for everybody. It's free family fishing weekend here in Alberta. So you never know. Of course, it's got to be windy as heck. Finally, that heat dome is moved out and we can all enjoy ourselves outside again. Remember what I got on yet, guys? Probably a walleye. Oh, I got two walleyes on at the same time. Nice. This is on film, too. Look at that. Look at that. Right? Woo! -hoo. Do you have your tags? No. Probably not, eh? No, I tried. Do you? No. No, gotta let them go. Gotta let them go. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's the first one. I gotta be extra careful because I got two on the line at the same time. So there's the first one, just a littler of the two. Off you go, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this bigger guy has got a little more, a little more anger to him. Yeah, 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 just gonna shoulder you, buddy. There we go. And then we got this guy. That's a nice eater size. Two on one rig. And off he goes. Alright, landed a pike on the pickerel rig. And of course, I don't have any pliers on me, so this will be a little tricky. Uh, they need the... It's all good. Oh, somebody's hooked him in the gill before. Poor little guy, look at that, just hanging out. But he's still strong, strong enough to get away on his own. I just gotta find a better spot to rinse my hands now, since these suckers are so slimy. This will be a rock I can use. This will be a rock I can use. Bye. Sorry, I'm not really filming the fishing part, guys. It's a, a little boring, I would imagine. Oh, look at that, he just came off. Oh, there he goes, he's off. <laughs> he's off, came off right at my feet. Oh, it's because one of my hooks is bent out. And now barbless, look at that. I wonder what was hooked onto it. Let's give that a little pinch. Oh guys, I put my lure in. Ooh, this one's bigger. He's taking drag. Pretty much got the bait in and almost instantly caught another walleye. I think it's another walleye. Yep, it's another one. It's another walleye, guys. Give him a little bit of slack. So I don't snap my rod. All right. All right, how's that for a walleye, guys? What do you think? Not bad, eh? All right.
I've got, if you want to try this method, I've got some more pickerel rigs. I'll run and grab them and come right back if you'll watch my gear here for a minute. <laughs> so if you want to try this method, I've got pickerel rigs. I can go grab a couple and some more shiners if you want to try it with the kids. Okay, yeah. Just don't let anybody take off with my stuff and I'll be right back, okay? All right, we'll hook you guys up. I'll be right back, guys. Guys, it's been uh, pretty productive. Several walleye, several pike, just waiting to watch that rod tip bend. The breeze is making it bump around, but when it really bends, that's when we're going to take a, a little, little hook set on it and see what we come up with. Guys, guys, just put a bait back in the water and I got another bite. Really productive day. Ooh, he's, he's mean. He's mean and nasty. Not sure what he is yet. Just a little, little walleye. He's not too happy about getting caught again. <laughs> Another walleye, guys. My rod is safe. Oh, look at that. Hooked him right in the top of the mouth. Just the way it should be. Good stuff, got a nice shoulders on them. Oh, okay, fine, bye. <laughs> fine, that was funny. I finish off the day with just a couple of casts with uh, a little paddle tail swim bait on a, a bottom weighted uh, owner hook type. Not necessarily beast owner hook, but that style of hook anyway. Just gonna do a couple more casts this way. Almost done for the day. Got my brakes turned way up because I'm casting kind of into the wind. I'm not gonna get very good casts out of this today just because of how I got how I've got my brakes turned up, but whatever. It's all good. Can't hurt to try this lure again. I did land a little pike on here earlier today. Move over a little. Just a little bit out of time moving over. I'll turn into the wind in just a minute so you guys can hear how howling it is. But it has been an interesting day of fishing. Alright, turning into the wind. <laughs> it's a little hard for me to hear, but... We've got a few moments to sink a bit. Nice slow tree. Give them time to see it, you know what I mean? I did catch one on this bait earlier and uh, it ripped the head pretty much right out of the, uh, the bait keeper on the, uh, on the hook and wrecked the head. So I shortened it up. Main reason I'm fishing now is I'm curious to see how it performs, if it'll catch another fish, even though it's lost a good inch on itself. So Bit. This wind is murderous on the cast. Just cut down here a teeny bit. Put the wind more at my side slash back. These guys get into the boat launch type area. Their truck's just pulling up. Oh, look at that, I caught a walleye 
that was not what I was expecting. Would you look at that? A walleye right here. It's the first walleye I've ever caught in this bay. It's just a little guy, but it's just a little guy. But let's see if we can get a good grip of you. Get you unhooked. There you go. It's just a little guy. Hopefully you guys can see him okay. Get that little fin out. He had it stuck in his gill. It's very pretty. Back in he goes. See you later, pal. Good stuff. Good stuff. I was not expecting a walleye on that. I think I'm going to cast one more time because that was not the expected outcome. But a nice one. Makes me happy. I was really surprised to find a walleye in here. It's just, it's so shallow. So shallow. It's because of all this wind, it's made the water dirty, cooled it off a little bit after this crazy heat wave that we've had. That sink for a second. No, I'll retrieve. Last retrieve, guys. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I wasn't even expecting a little walleye on that last retrieve, but they're eating. It's hard to leave when the fish are biting, but I have grown up activities to do. Oh, no, here comes EMS. I just saw the, just saw the, 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 the fire rescue boat go by. I was hoping it wasn't going to be anything bad, but the BMS is pulling in. It just might be. I hope not. Okay, you know the fish are saying. This will be the last pass. I lied, I cast again. And look what I caught, a big old pike. He's angry. You're lucky. Practice, buddy. But yeah, you're right, I'm lucky. He's a nice little pike. Let's see how we got you hooked, buddy. Holy moly. Did you get it in so deep, buddy? I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Well, I'll get you if you let it go. Look at them sharp teeth. Look at that guy, eh? Woohoo! Not too bad. Not too bad. Sorry about your gills, buddy. Off you go. Push away. There you go. He's off. Just slowly slunk away. Now let's look at this bait. Let's look at this bait. <laughs> he mangled it good, eh? Look at that. Look at that. Alrighty, well, so I guess I'll just let that hang loose because that's the end of that bait. 
Holy, he was in there good, and that was barbless, guys. All right, that'll be that. All right, everybody, today's adventure was just off to Lake Newell. We finally broke that heat wave, and I just wanted to get outside and enjoy some fresh air and not be on some sort of silly time constraint. So, had a really good time. Um, caught lots of walleye. It was really windy. I cast that uh, that one bait a couple of times and decided I didn't want to fight the wind, so I uh, threw on that pickerel rig. And holy, what an eventful little day! It was lots of fun. And I hooked up a family with another with another pickerel rig and some shiners, and hopefully they had some fun. And you know, it was a great day out at the lake. And see you guys soon. You know. So like, subscribe, comment, and if you guys have any ideas or things you'd like me to do, put it in the comment section. We'll see what we can do.